Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn how to select comparables and put together a market analysis. The first step is you need to know a little bit about the house. So where do you find that? Correct! Tax sheet. So we're going to click on Realist Tax and find the property. Remember in the video about Realist Tax, there's so many different ways to find the property using either Quick Search or My Search. I'm going to use my own property that I'm currently maybe about to sell. Hopefully by the time you watch this video, my listing and property are long gone. So we looked it up. As I've mentioned in the past, the top portion of the real list is what was the last thing in the MLS, as you can see up here. And if you scroll down, you can see information. And so we have the good stuff here. We've got information about the property. We can see it's a three bedroom, two bath, 1595 square feet on a 5221 lot. So here's how we're going to put the market analysis together. We're going to go to the MLS, which you've already learned how to get to. We're going to do a search. It's a house, so we're going to go into residential, and we're going to click detail. We're going to select active, active under contract, pending, and closed. We're going to select single family residence. We're going to select downing. Then we're going to put in the address my big tip for the day, the map search. 12259 Calandre Downey. And as you do that, it already pops up. I click on the address. And now I'm within one mile of the subject property, as an appraiser would do. The home is a three bedroom, two bath. I'm going to put two plus so I don't get any one bath homes. And then the square footage. That is always the question. How far below the subject property square footage and how far above do you go? If it's 1,600 square feet or so, I would recommend to go about 250 square feet. So 50, 250 square feet below would be and that may or may not be a good parameter. When we see how many properties we get, we can decide if we want to widen the, the margin of the square footage or reduce it. We can decide later. This is a good starting point. I want to say something about the size. If you're doing a small little two bedroom, one bath that happens to be 750 square feet, I would suggest to go no more than 200 square feet. Maybe 250 if you get nothing but because it's so small, you probably want to go around 200. On the flip, if you end up in around 2,500 2, square feet, you probably want to do 300 square feet. So if it's 2,500, you want to go from 2,200 to 2,800. If you're in the threes, you probably want to go 300, maybe 400, depending. If you're going to get very big, 4,000 and above, maybe you want to go 500 square feet and, and even bigger, Maybe you're even going to go 500, 700, even 1,000 square feet difference below and above the subject property. If you have any questions on that, feel free to ask and call or text me anytime. So now we have this subject property. It's 1595 square feet. We've gone from 1345 to 1845. I did two bathrooms or more. Now, you're probably saying, well, why didn't you put in bedroom count? Now, I'm kind of of the philosophy, don't put it in, see what you get. Maybe there's a two bedroom home that's in this size. Maybe there's a four bedroom home. It doesn't mean I have to use it. See what comes up on my screen when I finally hit search and go from there. One other thing to do would be um, put, again, no bedroom count. It's the best way to do it. But if you do get a lot, you can always go back and then put in just three or just put in just four or whatever the case may be. So here we go. With what we've got on the screen, I can already cheat and see that I have 29. I hit results and I can look at it. 
So as you can see, I've got 25 on the screen, but I got 29. So I'm going to go here, tip for the day, change it to 50 or 100 so you get all of them on the screen at the same time. So you can see, amazing. I only have one active listing on the market. I've got three pending and I've got a whole bunch more sold. And quite frankly, that's too many solds. Are we going to pick all of them? No, of course we're not. We're here to paint a picture to the seller, the homeowner that you're trying to get the listing, the homeowner that you're trying to tell them how much their house is worth. And you can see from doing this, my range is from 530,000 all the way up to 685,000. 530 to 685. So where is it gonna fall? Did you notice that on this particular one, the lot size was really small? That's gonna factor in, definitely. Did you also notice that there's a pending on King B for 879, yikes. If my lot is only 5221, probably don't wanna share that one with them. So, let's select. What if you're in an area that you don't really know? The best tip I can give you is use the map search. So I'm gonna look at that right now. Let's peruse our comparables by looking at the map. Okay, so you can zoom in and out. The best part, you can see the subject property in the red. So we have all these, so if I touch on it, Oh, unfortunately that low comp is very close. Got a 530, got a 625, a 655. That's, there's that 879, 749, 609, 549, 685. I feel like I'm at an auction, okay? So I've got some. It's kind of painting a picture, isn't it? 610, 599, and so on. So I, when you look at the comparables, you probably already have a feel. You just start to get a feel by looking at it as I'm doing right now. And I truly, truly, I'm feeling that this is a 6 to 625 house. So I'm going to start selecting some comparables. I can do it here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So now I'm looking at this one, and if I click on the MLS, it takes me right back, and oh, I can see the house. Now, the particular house we're, we're selling on Caladre happens to have an attached garage. This person only has one picture, fantastic. Remember the video on how to upload pictures and videos. Make sure to check that out so you're not the lame brain that only puts in one picture. Don't do that. All right, so we got this one at 625, looks good. I'm gonna select it. And again, I can go back to the map if I feel more comfortable. You can see it had it all on there and so on. So really quickly, I'm just gonna select some comps to make this video quicker. All right, so you selected your comparables. Go back to results, go to agent one liner. Now you have in blue the homes you selected. Now you're ready to put together a nice market analysis. Take a look at the next video to learn how to prepare your market analysis to give to your client during your listing presentation. Thanks for watching.